I just started some blackened chicken in the air fryer. And so I have like 12 minutes until the chicken is done. So I'm gonna read a chapter of my book. That way when the chicken is done and I can actually eat, I can watch an episode of the show and then start editing. on the search for my copy of Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman because that is where I have stored my leaf pressings from the last... Is that it? No. Um, because the last few years, that is where I put my leaves. And I collected a really cool leaf yesterday and I forgot to press it right away because I didn't have my book and the leaf crumpled. So in order to preserve more leaves and potentially some pressed flowers, I am searching. Man, <laughs> I'm really not seeing it. Wait, I'm looking for the wrong color of a book. I was looking for like a cream color, but I'm pretty sure it's green. Okay, well I'll update you when I find it because I currently have not had much luck, but I do think that it's a green book. Maybe it's in the guest room. Okay, well I'll let you know when I find it, but looking for leaves of grass. I heard this intense beeping from like a different room. So I went to check and it was my Tamagotchi and it was actively dying. It was actively dying and I've been taking really good care of it actually. It was weird. I couldn't do anything about it and it just like kept beeping and then I saw it die and that was like sad. And then it became an egg. I'm like, I'm gonna be so for real. I cannot do this again right now. <laughs> Tamagotchi gone. Still haven't found my book. No. Nip it, nip it, nip it. Not right now, Nimi. Uh -uh. Okay. I'm a little bit worried because I don't actually think that this book is in here either. No, those are completely different. Ugh, shoot. I really don't know where this book is. Okay, well, maybe I'm choosing a different book to press my leaves in. I really thought that Leaves of Grass was funny. Thought it was funny. And that can still be true and I'll find it eventually, but I can pick a different, <laughs> I can pick a different book, I guess. Look at these beautiful flowers. These are all the flowers from our wedding. Well, I suppose they're not all of the flowers. We did have some fresh bouquets that definitely did not last, but these ones are pre-dried and we, we dried some of it and the people who we got them from dried some of it. Eventually we're going to disperse these throughout the house, but look at these little bundles. Look at, look at this. Like, look at this soft yellow. Amazing. I think I'm gonna take these wire ones upstairs because I have things, ooh, careful. I have things that I can put them in. Plus, ugh, sadly, I'll show you this, but we got this planter. It was really, really cool. We got this planter from the Ren Fair, and it's a hanging one. So this hanging planter has the succulent in it and some stones and some moss, and it's just like, maybe it wasn't moss, but it was just like some type of decoration. And it was really cute, and it grew mold. So I'm gonna have to clear that out. But I was thinking that I could kind of make it a cute little fairy house that I leave hanging next to the computer, decorate it with some of the stones, but it has holes kind of like on the sides. It's like a teardrop shape, but glass. So I was thinking I might stick these into the holes and have the flowers like sticking out in kind of different directions around this little like terrarium vivarium thing. Gonna take those upstairs, probably gonna pick a secondary book to press things, which makes sense because Leaves of Grass was kind of a small book anyway. It's not gonna hold some of the bigger leaves, sorry. Speaking of bigger leaves, my umbrella tree is doing really well. This tree is like, goes up to here. Yeah, this tree is so tall. I think it might, it might be taller than Thomas actually. This is the guest room. I don't know if I see any new growth right now. She's looking really good. I haven't said much about this because I didn't really know what timeline we were working with. After our wedding, we had to take my ring in to get it resized and repaired because it had a crack. It was my grandma's ring, so it's been around for a few years at this point. So it had a crack and it needed to be resized. Sent it into a goldsmith because we just weren't really sure what needed to be done or what could be done. I heard back from them at the beginning of the week. They could do the repair and the resizing so now we've just been waiting for it to be done and it's done so get ready and we're gonna go and pick up my ring so i'll finally be able to have a ring i had it for like a day and it flew off my hand i'm like okay <laughs> we need to go get this resized now we're gonna go pick it up
do. <laughs> da da. Oh, this is like pickleball. From what I was looking up, Penn is good, Wilson is good. We probably want one that's not pressurized because we're beginners and pressurized is probably bouncier. So I did not end the video yesterday. So I pulled a card. These are the questions. And the question I'm going to answer is, what were you scared of as a child? For me, the biggest one, the most impactful one, was fear of the dark. And like fear of the dark, and obviously, most specifically, fear of what's in the dark, because that's what makes the dark so unknown and so like scary, is the possibility of there being something threatening in there. And I would absolutely say that that fear has like extended into my late 20s. I think that it's not a bad thing to be afraid of the dark. What were you afraid of as a kid? Or what are you afraid of now? And do they compare? Are they the same? Is one of them an extension of the first one? Thank you for watching and thank you for entertaining these like random questions. Let me know what you think. What were you afraid of as a kid? I will see you tomorrow. Good night.